All right, so in today's tutorial, we're going to model a project that's located in uh, Madeline in Colombia. Uh, it's called Orchidiorama, and it's actually a botanical garden uh, in the middle of uh, this forest. And the uh, concept behind the project is that uh, all these cells are imitating the natural uh, beehives. So uh, these are some of the uh, photos of the location. So I wanted to actually show you how you can model uh, these structures and how uh, we can implement this uh, and learn some uh, new Rhino commands with this project. So, uh, so we're just going to model. And okay, so we'll model uh, this module first and then we'll uh, uh, make it as a block and then we'll distribute it all around, uh, all around the site image. So let's start. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna import uh, this image here into Rhino and use it as a guide to create uh, the shape. Uh, since this is this has uh, six angles, we're going to use uh, the command that's called here uh, polygon and then we're going to say number of sides six and then we're just going to go from the middle here and hold shift and once we have this uh, uh, finished then we're going to just copy it from here to here and then I can actually hide this for now. So basically I'm just gonna create the outlook so that you can see the concept behind it. So for example uh, this will be uh, this will be one module and we'll use this module as a block to later uh, create the whole structure. So uh, again, uh, let's uh, start working on a single one and then we'll just transform it all around. So uh, the one thing that I want to do is I want to actually say block and I'm going to say this is the base point and let's say module one. So once I have this selected, it will say that it's a block instance. In this case, we don't need these guys anymore because we'll actually copy uh, this one when we, when it's finished. So now I'm just gonna go and look at some references here to see uh, what's the best way to approach the modeling. So as you can see, it has the structure around and it has the substructure here for the for the wood. So so we're gonna create all of this. So let's double click it and let's go into the block menu. Then I'm going to copy this guy uh, like so and. Uh, once I have this, uh, then I will actually use uh, line commands and I'm going to connect, I'm going to connect these areas here. Like so. And then I will also divide uh, this line, let's say, into halves. I'm going to say divide. To, so I know where the middle is. Uh, you could have also done this without the divide command. You could also use just the middle middle snap. That's that's actually faster. So I'll just go here middle middle. Uh, then I wanted to create the substructure like this. And one cool thing you can do is you can select area centroid here. And if you want to distribute this all around, uh, you would select these three. Let's group them. And I'm going to say array polar. I'm going to say this is the center. Number of items six. And here you go. So it's easy as that. Then uh, we're going to create those structures on the top. So let's just go and distribute them from here to here. So I'm going to copy it. Let's say, let me just see how many times. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to here take this curve 
and now let's divide it into 10 segments uh, I think this is enough so I'm just gonna copy it from here to here like so and then I can continue to copy it in this direction as well like this and let's mirror these guys on the other side and now we can use the trim and trim the axis lines here okay so so now we have this substructure and uh, what we're gonna do now is basically uh, uh, create this bottom uh, panel there so I'm actually not sure yeah it's you can see here it's made out of these uh, thin wooden layers so we're gonna create something similar but first let's uh, let's create the piping here so the piping will actually give it some thickness which is what we actually need in order for this geometry to be visible in 3d so let's just here quickly copy this on the bottom and uh, now I'm going to use let's say let me check first let's try pipe let's try 0.2 to see how it's too big let's use smaller something like this seems all right but for these ones let's go even smaller so i'm gonna use these ones and these ones i'm gonna say yeah we can also use the side ones okay or no this will be bigger so let's do pipe let's do 0 0.01 and we have the pipes and now let's select the rest and this will be a little bit bigger like so so we have this structure and now the last thing we want to do here is create the the actual uh, wooden paneling we want to create this this uh, this wood here so uh, it's going to be a simple creation so let's take this module let's bring it down just for uh, for us and uh, let's use let me check okay let's use select extrusion let's hide it for, for a bit and I'm gonna use these lines as a reference uh, so I'm gonna select them here and let's copy them on the bottom so what we want to do here we actually want to change the direction so I'm gonna say 90 I'm gonna flip it I'm gonna extend it and uh, basically uh, we want to have this let's see this is the density but it's too too small so we need to increase the density and let's say that this will be 0. Point, yeah 0 0.01 I think is alright yeah maybe 0 0.02 okay so so now I'll quickly copy this and once it once once it's done we'll have the the panel created okay so let's do the trim and uh, the last thing we want to do here is let's do some offset 0 0.02 and now we need to uh, basically create the pipe I'm gonna hide this all right so now uh, once we have this we're gonna have to uh, quickly trim uh, these areas here so, so that we get nice uh, module here and then once this is done uh, we'll just use the planner surface to create this panel okay so now once we have everything trimmed we're gonna say planner surface and we're gonna have this uh, module created and let's give it 
some thickness. And once this is done, let's unhide everything. Let's hide this guy again. And uh, let's select the curves. We don't need these curves on the bottom anymore. Or actually, let's put them on a separate layer. Maybe we'll need it for something else. Uh, change object layer and hide. And uh, this is going to be uh, our paneling from wood. Let's go to the side view and let's just bring it up like so. And this will be uh, the single module. So now, so now what we're gonna do here, uh, let's quickly use some reference points here. I just copied it and exploded it, duplicate border. And I'm gonna bring it down, let's delete this. And all I need is this guy here. This will be my uh, guide reference point for distribution of the panels. So uh, here I actually want to have it, uh, to have a, some simple offset. So let's say this should be enough. And then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna distribute, we're gonna create the network here first. And then I'm just gonna copy it later on. So let's say that this is the modules. And let's bring it here. Let's bring it here also. And on the other two guys here. Here and here. Okay. So now what, what I want to do is basically bring these guys on the bottom. So let's bring this guy down. Like so. And uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to distribute, distribute it now by having these, uh, these separate uh, guidelines that we just drew. So I'm just gonna copy it here, 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 and here. And yeah, we have two more. And one more here. So this will be uh, the structure. As you can see here, we have, uh, we have that similar offset in the top. So that's exactly what we're creating here. And uh, now the last thing is going to be, I'm just going to create this, uh, this structure here and render it out. I'll just simply uh, show you how you can do this. So uh, basically it's the same kind of shape. Let's bring this, this up. It's the same kind of shape, it's just rotated, I think 90 degrees or so. And then let me just copy it here below. And you just use rotation 90. And basically what you're doing here is you're connecting uh, these two guys together like this. So that's, uh, that's how this is created. And once you have this, that's that the whole area. Of course, the bottom, uh, the bottom uh, geometry is actually a little bit scaled down. So you can use just simple scale tool to bring it down like so. And this will go up, of course. And let's match it basically. So gonna use this point here to match it and I'm gonna of course bring it in the middle like so there you go uh, on top of that we see that we can use duplicate edge on these guys let's extend them a little bit let's and uh, the last thing would be, of course, to create these poles. So we're just going to uh, go to the, let's go to the top and it will create some simple geometry here. I'm gonna hide this 
and let's use it here. Like so, to bring it down. I am gonna mirror it here. I'm gonna mirror it in the bottom. And I'm gonna create one here as well. I'm gonna use Orient. And I'm gonna say copy and bring it from here to here. And the last thing is to mirror it also on this side. And I'm just gonna select these guys now. Let's go to the perspective. Let's move them down. As you can see, they're too big. So we're gonna just use them and these guys. Let's isolate it. Go to the top. And let's scale them down. Like this. Like so. Let's bring them up a bit. And let's set them up. Go to the Z and bring them down. How you so this will be this will be our module here. So this is the final look of one single module. Uh, now I'm going to uh, distribute it all around and render it and show you the final result. So this is the final image. Uh, this was the project Orchidiorama designed by Plan B Architects and uh, JPRCR Architects. I uh, hope that you like it and if you have any questions or comments about any uh, of the tutorials here, please feel free to share it. And until the next time, see you and take care.